Hello beauties, welcome back to my channel, Modest Transformation by Celeste. In today's video, I will show you guys how to achieve a smudged and smoky effect using deep and moody tones like charcoal, plum, and navy. Perfect for a night out or when you want to add a little bit of dark glam into your makeup routine. Watch to master this effortless look and let's get into the video. Hey guys, I'm going to be using my Ruby Kisses Waka Beach uh, makeup palette. So I'm going to start off with my brows as always, you guys. Brows is the most imp important thing for me to do. If not, I will not fulfill my makeup looks. So for me, the eyebrows, it gives me that perfect oomph, meaning that my brows have to be in perfection of creating the makeup look that I want to achieve. So I'm just going ahead and doing my eyebrows and making sure that they are I'm not gonna say perfect but at least I want to say decent enough because you know I always want my eyebrows to um, be like Aaliyah in a certain way so now I'm going to show you guys the finished look of my eyebrows so now I'm going to use two colors like a darker blue in the lighter purple and I'm going to use that all over my eyelids so I'm just applying and just going all over my eye so i'm just applying blending in those two colors so i love those two colors like a lavender but a bit of darkness so i want to give you guys this smoky eye kind of look so i'm mixing the color one more time i wanted to make it a little bit darker and so you guys can see the transition of the colors. And I'm going to use this darker teal color, like a dark teal blue. And I'm going to place that color in the inner corner of my eye. I never used this color before. This is my first time um, applying. So I was kind of nervous. I didn't know what color it was going to give me, but I love the color. I did get so many compliments on this makeup look today. And I really do love it. And I was just applying, I'm just applying some in the inner corner of my eye. I didn't know how I was going to um, blend that color in. I didn't know if I want to bring it all the way towards the middle or halfway. But I just left it how it was. And I'm just going to add those two colors again. The lighter purple and darker purple towards the um, outer corner of my eye. So it's kind of give you like a cut crease, but like a smoky eye effect. I'm gonna my I'm gonna use my Ruby Kisses um, eyeliner as well, and I'm going to apply that. Um, I'm trying to make sure it works, so it is working. So as you guys can see, I am applying towards the end of my eye, and I'm gonna work my way towards the inner corner of my eye as well. So I'm just making sure that. Everything is covered. I am applying and I love this eyeliner. It goes on very smoothly. So I haven't did an eyeliner in a couple of months. So I was like, you know what? Let me go back and do that. So as you guys can see, it doesn't have to be perfect because once you put your makeup on, it's going to um, make it look nice in a, a clean cut I can't even talk I'm sorry guys I'm going to use my warm coconut 345 underneath my eye this is by Kids Professional which I am the master for I envy this is their brand of concealer and I'm just applying a longer length of the eyeliner and next I'm going to go in with my Cappuccino concealer and then I think I went in with Nika K06. It's a little bit lighter. That's the same color I applied under my eyebrows. And then I went in with the mocha. So it's like a little bit darker. It's kind of give you the contour look. And now I'm going to use my e.l.f. setting spray and I'm just applying that on my face. It's a light mist, which I do love. So my contact was bothering me sorry guys so now I'm going to use my sponge and I'm going to blend right underneath my eye in the creases 
So as you guys see that to get the angle of the eyeliner, just, just apply concealer. It's not hard. And make sure you blend it underneath. And see how smooth that it looks. It's like my skin tone. I really love mixing my concealers. It makes it more realistic with my skin tone. If that makes sense. Like the undertones. So I'm just blending the concealer. And I'm just making sure I'm blending, blending, blending. So I'm blending, I'm blending. And now, this is the finished look on one side, and then you see both. So now I'm applying some lip combo here. I'm using like a mauve lip liner by uh, Kiss as well. So I love using their brands. They are so good. Now I'm going to use this plum color. By Nika K. And look how it blends perfectly. And I'm going to take some of my eyeshadow. I'm going to take that lavender in the second column on the first row. And I'm just blending out that color from top to bottom. And look how good it looks. I'm going to apply, <laughs> apply some concealer around my lips. Because I want my lips to look like the Bratz doll. And I'm going to blend out that concealer around my lip area. So I'm going to blend, blend, blend. And I'm going to use my Nika K. Bubble gum lip gloss, which is one of my favorites. Oh, I'm sorry. That one is the Rose Oil by Kiss. I'm sorry, guys. But they are both good. But this is the Ruby Kisses um, Rose Oil lip gloss. And I love it. And look how it gives a shine to my lips and more moisture. So I'm just making sure... Then I'm blending that concealer out perfectly. And this is the look, you guys. I am definitely in love with this. Thank you guys for tuning in. Please tell me what you guys think. Please tag me down below and comment down below as well and tag me in your videos. And I'll see you guys. Bye. And please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe and turn on your notification bell for the next makeup look. And also watch my content. Bye.